the name is Raja Chinges Sultan and uh, graduated in 1972. Trinity was a, a marvelous experience really, because I'd uh, gone to England from Pakistan as a Commonwealth scholar. And the idea was uh, to build on what I was really good at, and that was maths and physics. There was an openness uh, that uh, allowed a person to think and to be and to carve a path for himself or herself. Nothing on earth beats that, honestly. And it's because they don't uh, try to uh, direct your life in a way that uh, you know suffocates you. They provide you more than enough canvas to do just about anything you want to do. I already paint, and if I add this dimension to what I do, maybe that will present a fullness of life for me. It, it's a painting from a series called The Divide Itself. And it's a series that began while I was at school um, in, in, in Trinity. The first two uh, paintings that I ever did in that series, they're hanging in this room uh, out here, because this, this is my studio, and I, I kind of live with them even today. But I always need uh, a reason as to why I'm doing something. And those paintings do provide me that kind of, uh, you know, platform that uh, this is why I began this series and this is why it's important. I scribbled something on a piece of paper because I felt that kind of claustrophobic really. And uh, during lunch I showed uh, that scribbled piece of writing to you know, Hugh Walton, who happened to be sitting in the cafeteria on the table next to me, and uh, said, you know, somebody told you, uh, are into, you teach English, and uh, uh, would you mind having a look at this? So he looked at it and he said, oh, you know, uh, it's very interesting, it's nice. So do you write a lot? And he said, no, oh, this is the first attempt I've made. And he said, well, I don't make it the last. Keep, keep at it because uh, there's some substance there. It's a poem called The Mirror. And it goes like this. Um, when you look in a mirror, do you see your image or an image of your image? Or does your image see you or an image of you? Whatever the case, you see what's there or what's there sees you. Between the two, there's a conspiracy. Absolutely no regrets whatsoever. And it is nothing like a liberal arts education for a start to lay a base for uh, any young man or young woman headed towards uh, a future.